Hello guys, I'm Ryan Reaction of this Milo Paddy Grimdark reading called Mother Clubber, Bittersweet Apple Acres, Redux, Final. It's the final, final, final. Okay, it is 39 minutes and 20 seconds long. Uh, it's the final, final. Uh, well, I've been told by Sparrow it's nothing like um, the previous chapter. Boy, no. That's why there's an 18 on there. And we're going to get this reaction started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hello, Fluttershine. What was that text thing? Oh dear. Flaming hour! Ding! Power percent. Crimson opened his eyes, noticing that he was not alone. Applejack was still there doing something to his body. What and is he doing take to his body? To figure out what she was doing. A sharp pain surged throughout Crimson's body as she stuck a needle with some sort of metallic thread attached into one side of the open wound down his chest. A, a needle? He screamed, but only ah! for a second. Seeing the pain was not as severe compared to the it's pain that Applejack isn't it? had already done to him. She noticed that he was awake and didn't hesitate to silence him due to his struggling, making the stitching process difficult. Don't struggle! She warned. Don't struggle! Very I'll be running like a shot. I'll be dead anyway. Crimson knew he didn't have a choice, so he did his best to keep himself calm. Applejack continued. But you're going to die, aren't ya? What are you doing to me? Asked Crimson in a week. She raped you, that's what she did. I'm closing up. We need more blood. And leaving this open would cause infection, making y'all useless. She said annoyingly. Stitches! Crimson looked down his chest, noticing the deep cut Applejack had made nearly stitched shut. The stitching job looked as if it had been done by an amateur doctor, meaning it was only temporary. Yeah. With weak vision, he managed but to But stitches don't words. last forever. Well, stitches, you got the, the dodgeball stitches and your just the one you had to take out. He asked, staring at the grinder just below him. Because that would be no fun, sugar. Replied Apple. No fun, Sugar. Fun? How could this possibly be fun? It is not fun. You used to be a positive influence to every pony. That's and true. Now they fear you. You are a murderer. If you had a taste of it, you want more. I would never torture my own kind, nor kill them so I could continue to make money off of an apple. Yes, yeah, like you did apple, apple blue, way. you bitch. Applejack was growing tired of crimson jelly. Best keep your voice down, or I'll give you that special punishment again. She threatened. Crimson knew what Applejack was talking about, so he kept his voice down while Applejack finished up her work. Oh, yeah? Once she was finished with the stitching, she turned to him. Why are you looking at me like that? He asked. Well, you gotta get you cleaned up for dinner. She replied. I'm kissing you? Crimson was confused. Dinner? He said, confused. You are the dinner. And the rest of us for dinner, sugar. She concluded. Crimson saw this as an opportunity to escape, knowing that the dinner that Applejack was referring to wasn't anything delicious. It was you. Disgusting. Your, di your dinner, aren't Applejack you? Applejack could read him so easily, knowing what he was thinking. What are you thinking? Sugar. You'll be far too weak to even try any sort of escape. Trust, so trust you, Applejack, you walk. bastard. Crimson's hopes were dead. That ship? Realizing Applejack was correct, he had no feeling in his limbs, especially his front legs, seeing the blood flow had been cut off to them. To add to the torture, he had no interest in being escorted by a monster. Then you can't an walk. that Applejack had described as a date. The thought of him dating a monster made him shiver. A psychopath? Just a 
Applejack. You mean? Clarified Applejack. Crimson nodded his head, knowing it was best not to argue with Applejack. Don't argue. Her as she walked down the stairs, out of sight. Not gonna do any good, but don't as argue. He heard the door shut below him. He immediately knew that if he was ever going to get out, now was the time to come up with a plan. Not much time uh... remained before he through the grinder. He immediately pondered over his it, options. It, can you walk? Knowing the time was short. He was too weak to speak, so he thought of ways to escape deep in his mind. The only thing he could think of was somehow managing to weaken the restraints. But they were on him tight is and it, were replaced is it, whenever it, a new victim came into the slaughterhouse. Is it like, like a metal strength? Through his desperation, he attempted to loosen the metal restraints, binding his front hooves. His front hooves were far too weak to even move, so he resorted to his back hooves, containing more strength than his front hooves. He you got no chance to escape, really. Strength he had left, ignoring the aching in his limbs. You're gonna he die. To lunge his back hooves, praying that the metal restraints would weaken or budge, but unfortunately, the restraints were too strong. He needed. Oh, come on! You even are he did, stuck there, he was unsure babe. sure if he would be able to even weaken the restraints. They were stuck to the wall tight, forged to remain there the entire time a victim was locked in them. Forged? He stopped lunging, hearing the door below open. Applejack had returned with a bucket of water and a blood-soaked sponge. Looking up at Crimson, she noticed he was sweating, and due to him dealing with multiple victims in the past, she knew what he had been trying to do. It's probably best you didn't manage to break free. You would have went head first into the grinder. That would have been a shame. Oh dear. Applejack gave Crimson a deadly look. It oh, come on! What would have happened she knew. She knew this to break free plan, maybe. The grinder. Yeah. The sounds made him shiver, wondering if it was best that he didn't break free. Sorry. It's never that easy, Sherman. It's never that easy. Get you cleaned up. She said, dipping the dirty sponge into the water. Applejack placed the sponge along Crimson's body and started washing away the dry streams of blood from the wounds. Why? Questioned Crimson. Because Didn't I... I already tell you the answer. She replied. No. No. Why did I lose so much blood? He claimed. The amount of blood that I lost was far more than I should have. Oh, come on! Because you made so many cuts, maybe? I don't know. No. Remember those pancakes I fed you? Oh. Well, a strong blood thinner we use on most victims is in the bag. That caused your blood flow to increase massively. That's why y'all lost that much There's blood in the cakes with Did that. Did you really think those were normal pancakes? You don't make me laugh, sugar. <laughs> Crimson was no. shocked. I knew he had to be Basically, careful. it... Nothing. It was, was part of the secret here. ingredient, and wasn't somehow, it? He had to get out. How? When Crimson was cleaned up. Applejack proceeded to unlocking his limbs from the wall, knowing he was far too weak to do anything. First, she released his front hooves, falling like rocks. They were floppy, and to Crimson, felt as if they were made out of gelatin. He couldn't even feel oh, his front hooves, jelly? nor support himself, so it was clear. Applejack had him trapped. Next came his neck, which didn't feel any different. But Crimson's breathing... You're gonna die because of loss of blood, aren't you? As constricted. His back hooves were last, as he fell oh, like a stone. On! But Applejack made sure he didn't fall into the grinder, wrapping him up with her lasso and covering How big is the grinder? Can't have you seen where the X's are now, can we? Said Applejack, X's dragging Crimson that? down the stairs hearing his back hooves hit each step, Ooh. causing them to ache. Once they were on solid ground, Applejack placed him on all four I'm hooves, sorry, I'm struggling to, kind of keep him up. Legs. to keep him balanced. She placed his left front hoof over the back of her neck and escorted him into the Apple family a, dining room. Can he be like a scarecrow or something? <laughs> that is bad. In the dining room, Crimson could hear the sounds of hooves against the wooden floor as Applejack settled him into a chair. She didn't lock his front hooves into the Man, he's like, um, he's like, a, like a, a kid in the high chair, isn't he? A kid in the high chair. A pony in the high chair. And he was trapped in a dining room full of killers. Applejack lifted the sack from his head, only for him to see 
that he it's was not there? at the far end of a wooden table, with each dinner plate covered with a metallic lid. Seated to the left of him was Applejack's older brother, Big Macintosh, staring at him with an evil grin. To the right was Applejack, and at the opposite far end of the table was Granny Smith, humming a tune of some sort. The side of the I wanted, to, I wanted to, to hear, I want to hear the tune then. What's the tune? y'all to welcome our special guest, Crimson Flash. He is also my day. Seeing that he loves Shit. sweet Applejack very much. You're not fucking sweet. Y'all have never been very good with dates. Every time you bring one to the table, they seem to disappear. <laughs> Said Granny Smith. This one's different, Granny. He's special and does That is, um, does Agent Fluffy as well. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. Now that, that was Thomas. <laughs> yup. The rules are that no body gags or spits out their food. Otherwise, there will be consequences. Claimed Applejack. The mm. sound of this yep. game Applejack was referring to was reminding Crimson of the previous night. You called it a game? That the consequences had to be more severe. He took deep breaths. By oh, game, you're gonna kill, to kill him or something. Will get worse the more some pony gags or spits out the food. The first punishment will be a simple cut in any place that basically this is oh this is a punishment isn't it? Because the neck is no fun. Second punishment will be an even deeper cut in the place of my choosing. And if the pony screams, the cut will deepen. Third punishment will be a brand of the Apple family's official brand to the forehead. Fourth punishment. What is the brand? Oh, that's funny! A crimson wolf has just joined on Facebook. Just, oh, just come on Skype. <laughs> Is it related? Sorry. Anything to Sorry. you, or two, a trip through the grinder. Crimson's eyes bulged at the sound of the last option, and now. Why can't you just take the easy route out and get killed? After multiple tortures, Crimson didn't know what to think. As Applejack yelled the words that would be You gotta realize you got no hope of his the end of the day, haven't you? Yelled Applejack. Save on everybody! Oh Applejack can say it for me. Horrid looking content. Crimson wanted to gag, but managed to keep himself under control. Hold it together, Crimson. He said to himself. Hold it together. The first platter was placed before each of them, which looked like some sort of animal. First servant, Roadkill. Stated out. Roadkill? What's in the Roadkill? What's the greetings of the Roadkill? Once again, controlled himself. He grabbed the provided fork and knife and cut into the horrid meal. Oh. To see pus leak out of the opening. Ugh. And only got worse as he tore off a piece, revealing the insides of the dead animal. Pus gushed out. Ugh. Some and I'm. Is it this cooked? Smell that burned every nose hair within his nostrils. Oh, he's been cooked, hasn't he it? He couldn't hold it back anymore and Ugh. gagged. To the Ugh. All over is that a rodent? The smell and texture of the meal caused him to vomit again, soaking the floor and play with his own stomach content. File. File, basically. Chair, and did that is fucking disgusting. In her eyes, she stood next to him. Now, was that anyone at the dinner table? You won't eat it! She yelled. Um, violently lunged just eat it, just forward, eat it. Straight just to please her. Kill. Even she though, um... Pus and the stiff flesh of the animal break like a bone. Ugh. He gagged massively and vomited into the animal's body, feeling the maggots and pus against the inside of his mouth. Yuck! It tasted unlike anything Crimson could describe as the maggots, pus, and rotten flesh leached into his mouth. And um, how does she appetize at the animal? Back so far, he was choking and gagging on the content in his mouth. Was it off when she killed it or something? Normal position, immediately starting. And I hate it's like ma maggots. I hate it. Commanded Applejack. Maggots are not nice. Crimson no, they're not. Oh, the no. But his gag reflex was too strong and immediately puked again, lunging the horrid content wow, that's back disgusting. onto the plate, along with the vomit. How dare you disrespect my family's cooking? Apologize! She commanded. Why? Crimson couldn't take it anymore, 
so he used his free hoof and gave Applejack a taste of her own medicine. He landed a nasty punch straight to her face and knocked her into the stove, accidentally putting uh, the left side of her face on one of the burners. She screamed from the third I, burn, cinching the entire left side of her face. Do you think that was a, a wise thing to do? Had had enough and didn't care what was coming next. Applejack raised her head from the burner and quickly looked at herself in a nearby mirror. Ugh. The left side of her face was cinched beyond repair, and now she literally looked like a monster. Oh dear. She turned. Look like a monster? Always a monster. Look what you've done to me! I look like a monster! You are a monster! That's because you are one! Stated Crimson. <laughs> Applejack gritted her teeth and gave the final command, sealing his face. Crimson was scared, but at the same time, he didn't care. He'd be free of the torture and death. Big Macintosh stood up and walked out of the room into the slaughterhouse to fire up the machine. Applejack walked up to Crimson just You are going to pay for what you've done to me. She said as she How can you pay if you're if he kills? She was Logic! Him, dragging him into the slaughterhouse as Big Mac fired up the machine. Crimson listened as the machine erupted to life. The conveyor belt started moving, and the sounds what of the rotating blades erupted like from above where he was online. originally bound to the wall. Applejack carried Crimson up the stairs until they were right before the entrance of the machine. The blades rotated as Applejack lifted Crimson up head first before the rotating uh, blades. He could be tied he down, isn't he? Just as he was about to be eaten up by the blades, the machine came to a sudden stop. Big what? Mac, what are you doing? She yelled. What? It was me! Stated Granny Smith, who had commanded Big Mac to shut off the machine. Granny, why are you stopping me from pushing this garbage in the trash where it belongs? Questioned Applejack. We need to talk about chopping the edge and part to calm yourself. Get him back out of the wall. Now get back into the house! Said Granny Smith with a stern voice. You listen to Granny Applejack Smith! Did not like this, because right now, she just wanted to see Crimson dead. But she knew she could not argue with Granny Smith. No. Ah! She exclaimed, turning Crimson's head to where she was face to face with him. You got lucky this time, but next time, you won't be so lucky. Applejack. I should be so lucky, no, you so lucky, so lucky. Again, like, locking his limbs in bad. That was a bad toy. Once she finished locking Crimson to the wall, she proceeded out of the slaughterhouse, back into the house with a loud slam. Back in the house, Big Mac and Granny Smith were seated at the table. Applejack wasn't pleased, seeing her once beautiful What face is Granny Smith going to do now, then? The of her life. She wanted Crimson. Dead. Why did you stop me from killing that trash? Asked Applejack. Granny Smith gave Applejack a stern glare, causing Applejack to calm down and take a seat. We need him, Applejack. Do we? We need a key to keeping our production going for the rest of our lives and beyond. Due to the you need it for his blood, father. don't you? Stated Granny Smith. What the heck are you talking about? Asked Applejack. I'm talking about keeping our family alive for generations, and seeing I'm not the day and age to even have children anymore. I'm making a proposition for you, Applejack. It's against our family heritage to breed with another family member, so I figured that y'all could use a crimson member as your ace breeder. You've always wanted young fella to love, right? That's why they call him Crimson, because he's red. And you just nearly turned him into nothing but fuck! Applejack liked and hated the proposition. Seeing Crimson had just made her look like a monster. Of course you are one! So she decided to add a few conditions of her own. So your plan is to have me breed with Crimson and produce foals, so our family can grow and never die? She asked. Yes. Correct. Assured Granny Smith. Crimson, but I have a few conditions. Seeing Crimson is more tricky and rebellious than others I've tortured in the past. Yeah. What are the conditions? Asked Granny Smith. What are the I conditions? I can torture him in any way of my choosing and 
include the forbidden ways. I wasn't alone while I do the breathing, and the first fall I ever have is slaughter. He must suffer some way for what he did to me. I feel something is bad is going to happen. Let him see this old child die before his eyes. If you agree to the conditions, we have a deal, Granny. Granny Smith did not agree to some of the conditions, mainly the forbidden tortures. Yeah, she right. She had no choice, though. Therefore, she gave the final verdict. I agree with the conditions, Applejack. Start first day tomorrow. Agreed, Granny Smith. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh dear, that's a creepy laugh. The uh, night was long, as Crimson continued to try and weaken the restraints, seeing that that was his only option. Tomorrow, it would be his turn to die. There's no one so on watch. There's no pony on watch. He had to do something, and fast. What? Even if he managed to get out of the restraints during the sleeping hours for the Apple family, he would not be safe. No. Not by a long shot. First, he'd have to escape the slaughterhouse. Then would come the next step before he was even safe. He'd have to escape the apple residence that guarded the outskirts of Ponyville. Oh yeah? The apples worked like a wolf pack, and Applejack was the alpha mare, while the others were just pawns. Crimson had never encountered the other Apple family residents. No. But he had seen them before. Well, you kind of killed one. They guarded the outside of Ponyville, were Apple Fritter and Brayburn. Apple Fritter was quick and agile, while Brayburn was more intimidating and strong. No pony had ever escaped the outside of Ponyville, because each time they were stopped. Apple Fritter. And Why Brayburn can't you get on the train? Alliance, wits, and strength. What came after them was unknown to every pony. For hours on end, he attempted to loosen the restraints, and still, it had not felt like he had even meant to. I don't think it's gonna work steel. at all. His limbs were aching from putting pressure against the steel, but he knew he had to stay strong. Otherwise, he was. You could try and stay strong, but at the end of the day, um, close to death today. I think you're fighting a losing battle, giving really. Him a second chance. The madness within Ponyville had to end somehow, and the only way to get help was to somehow escape this forsaken prison born from greed and desire. How After can you, how can you escape and... Free, Crimson's heart I'm surprised that the Royal Sisters hasn't done anything about it. ...cracks of rotten barnwood, meaning that his time had come. Despite his effort, the Apple family had won, and another innocent pony would be imported into the slaughterhouse as soon as he was grinded up and put into the applesauce, just like many other apple victims. As much as he hated to know that another one of his Ponyville kin would be put through the torture he had experienced, he had to face facts. His day had come, and soon. Yeah. Jack would come to seal his fate. You're going to die, he to try aren't you? One last time, and lunged his limbs forward, praying for the constraints to weaken. His attempt failed once more, and the metal restraints were Is not. Is he gonna keep on fighting? Fighting? Crimson was exhausted, tired, and weak. He wanted to die, and knew he would soon. Yet, he had a feeling that Applejack would have much more than just a simple trip through the grinder planned. Oh he yeah? He knew she was going to make his final moments the most miserable moments of his life. What? Like what? Like About what? an hour later, the door below creaked open, meaning Applejack had arrived. Her hooves clamped against the hard floor up the stairs. As she arrived at the top of the stairs, the left side of her face was bandaged, and she was dressed in an unlikely outfit designed to make her look attractive. But Crimson knew there was nothing attractive about Applejack. No, she's a she fucking murderer. To the Psychopath. The bandages didn't surprise him, but the outfit she was in did. What's the outfit? What's up with your get-up? He asked. Do you do this with all your victims before they all go through the grinder? Try to seduce them? Applejack just ignored Maybe. him and grabbed a whip she had brought. Crimson had no idea what was going on, but he didn't expect any different. What are you waiting for, you dirty mare? Get it over with! He yelled. 
Applejack giggled, holding the whip in her mouth. <laughs> Y'all ain't going through the grinder, she said in a low voice. Yeah. Crimson was immediately confused. What are you talking about? I thought you wanted me dead. I did. That was until Granny Snake convinced me otherwise. Oh. She offered me a proposition I just couldn't refuse. What See, was that? She gives me some pony to love. Lots of other games. Every penny, that every penny she pony said, needs a pony to love. Or something. was starting to shake as Applejack continued her explanation. It was perfect. Too perfect to pass up! You oh, can be together for eternity, helping the Apple family grow! What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Applejack? Stand. Just get on with it. I still didn't understand the full price of Applejack's proposition. Please, just kill me, he pleaded. That's too Applejack easy. Applejack placed her hoof upon his bruised cheek. I can't do that. No? Not when you are my ace styling the braid with for the rest of our lives. Oh, come on. She said, beginning to draw in closer to Crimson. Crimson's heart stopped from the sound of Applejack's words as he started to feel her caress against him. It was just like the first time. Crimson knew that the worst was coming, and he didn't want to ever face that torture again. You gonna kiss him? Now done, Applejack started to get herself into position. Crimson started to struggle more violently than he did the entire time he was here, hoping you for cannot a to happen. struggle. You cannot Applejack leave back your stuck. body as Crimson started struggling harder, feeling the wall start to shake. Applejack was inches from him when suddenly the restraint on his right back hoof came clean off the metal wall. Oh dear. He had a free limb, and just before she could connect, he landed a hard kick with his free hoof straight to Applejack's rear. Oh, and yeah. before she could become aware of the situation, she was lunged forward into the non-mobile grinder head first. Oh dear. The kick was hard enough to push Applejack's entire head through the row of blades. Oh dear, that's his exactly. Crimson knew he had an opportunity to escape now that the grinder was blocked, and Applejack was struggling to get herself out. Applejack's gonna get killed? The weight of his free limb was pulling down on his whole body, so he quickly thought of his options of escape. He couldn't just slide out of the metal, seeing his limbs were stuck tight, and he couldn't reach or grip the key on Applejack's belt. He only had such little time to get out, so he couldn't wait to build up a sweat to try and slide out. He knew what he had to do, and it was going to cost him more than one hoof. Crimson braced himself as he pushed his You had to bite your own hoof, then. Every bit of strength he had. Or the metal arm arm and leg. started to dig arm into and his hoof. flesh and limbs, causing him to start bleeding. Arm and hoof, the why not? dug into his skin, past the meat covering the bone. And as much as he was screaming, he knew this was the only way. The metal dug into the bones of his hooves, and being so close to escape, he was running out of strength. He wasn't going to let his only chance of escape fail, so using his free limb, Come he on. pushed his body away from the wall, digging the metal into the bone, and with one final thrust using his free limb, one of his front hooves snapped. Ooh. The pain of the snapping limb made him scream and cry as he pushed more and more into his broken yeah. limb, planning to sever it. Ooh. It took three hard lunges, yeah. but What's finally that about? his Ooh. front left hoof was free and bleeding profusely. The weight of his body Stop the bleeding quickly. Lost, but he needed more, so he did the same process with his other front hoof until it too severed clean off. Blood leaked out of the open wounds oh, as he fell forward onto Applejack's oh. back, snapping her spine. Joyce, ow! Using his mouth, he grabbed the key from her belt and managed to unlock his back hoof from the restraint. Struggling to stand straight, he fell lightheaded. But now was not the time to pass out. No, he had to get out. He Fast. took a hard tumble down the metal stairs, seeing his front hooves were now gone. And only bleeding like crazy. You got war like a human! You got war like a human! You got war like a human! Not funny. The barn door, but realized the moment was perfect. Oh, yeah? Applejack was finished, and now she was about to pay the ultimate price for her dirty deeds. By getting killed the through, the, through the 
Crimson made his way toward the switch that started up the machine. Oh dear! I, I sense a bone. I, I, I sense a like, bone cracking. He only ignored her and stated something before finally pulling the switch. Just, Just like, like you, you. I'm, I'm not sweet. sweet. I'm as cold as ice. He said, the starting the machine. Applejack's blood sprayed everywhere from the top of the machine as it ate her head alive. The sound of her screams were silenced in mere seconds, hearing the sound of only her skull cracking and her blood gushing through the <coughs> as her head Oh, dear, that's disgusting. Shoulders. The machine continued to run, shredding away at whatever was left at the base of her severed neck. Blood continued to gush everywhere from the punctured arteries within her neck as her headless body finally... Headless horse! And Applejack was gone forever. What about the other Apple family? Apple did not celebrate, only rushed into the Apple's residence, hoping to find something nearby that could close off the wounds he had. Inside, there was nothing except a running stove and a set breakfast table. There was not a single towel or anything that he could place over the wounds until he found a hospital. He had to think fast, seeing the Apple family could be back any time, and quickly found a solution, even though he would not like it. What's that? The burner on the stove would be able to stop the bleeding and close Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be painful. Otherwise, he'd be easy to track because of his blood trail. He took a deep breath and placed one of his hooves along the surface of the burner, immediately oh. feeling excruciating pain. That is pain. That he would held be it painful. In place for about ten seconds, making sure he closed off the wound fully. He did the same with the other hoof, starting to feel a bit nauseated. Despite the pain, he had to get out, so he ran back to the inside of the slaughterhouse, unlocked the barn door with the key he had taken from Applejack and ran as fast as he could for the once welcoming Sweet Apple Acres. Crimson ran in the opposite direction of Ponyville, hoping not to run into any Apple locals. Luckily for him, there was no pony in sight, and he had managed to make it a great distance from Sweet Apple Acres. He hid away in a thick area where he could not be seen, and but looked at his in a sense books, you could be in hiding now? Burned to a crisp. Many things ran through his head. Oh, come on! Thank you, Sweet Bell. Was he truly out of the Apple family's clutches? How was he going to stop the Apple family's murderous cycle? Who could help him? All he knew is that he had to somehow get help from a distant place. Ponyville was the worst place to go right now. Yeah. Until he could get the right help. He refused to ever go back to that farm. Why? Someone's ever. gonna. Again, so I'm going to burn down the down the down the bomb, don't I? Put behind bars where they belong. Justice had to be done, for already too many lives had been taken. He knew he was not going to get anywhere until he had. What's going to happen to Big so Mac and the Funny Smith then? Hid well and closed his eyes. Sent to the moon or something? Sent to the sleep. sun? After escaping Sweet Apple Acres, it took three long days before Crimson was finally able to find help in a nearby town. No pony had ever known of the horrors that happened within the farm, just as the Ponyville inhabitants never knew until one spoke the truth. Apple Bloom is the one member of the Apple family that Crimson, along with every past victim, could accept, seeing she turned against her own family. Even if it had cost her her life, yeah, Crimson was admitted into a hospital immediately, where he remained for several months. While the royal guard seven months is he a vegetable? To finally, put the Apple family where they belonged. The royal guard. I'm surprised you haven't. Um, are you like not vegetable? Every member of the family in a pool of their own blood. Ugh. Once uh, Crimson had escaped, can you, you can't walk. He had violated a rule within the Apple family's heritage. Ted had told us to escape from the farm. All family members must commit suicide. We were wow. in the world as one. And we all go as one. After searching the farm, many disturbing things were found, such as victims' belongings, an entire cellar with jars full of pony blood collected from their tortures, 
and countless photos of the victims being tortured. There were also wow. over 500 torture devices found in the family's farmhouse, including whips, countless knives, used gag devices, and 20 separate brands designed to mark. Basically, quit suicide the or of each victim's face the consequences of being arrested. Each one dated and described very violently. There were also items designed for hard intercourse found within Applejack's room. Uh, oh, she likes sex, doesn't she? Whip and modified sex kits designed to torture the other pony. Other disturbing items included chunks of flesh cut from the victim's flanks, showing a brand AF on each, AF. along with other organs, including hearts, Apple. tongues, and other parts of the body tongues? that are best not to be mentioned. Books and charts stolen from Ponyville Hospital were found as well. This is how the Apple family knew how to torture some pony without killing them. The books and charts were given back to the hospital. However, they refused to take them due to them being used for nothing but evil reasons. The evil. items were confiscated as evidence in the most disturbing case ever recorded in Ponyville. The oh. Apple Family Massacre. Brayburn and Apple Fritter were the only apples not to commit suicide. Uh. They were found just outside of Ponyville performing sexual acts and were arrested by the Royal Guard. Well, God, oh. Their sentence was life in Carolot Prison with no chance of parole. The two were investigated as well, and all that was discovered is that both were having a secret relationship, which didn't help in the case, no. but was kept anyways. Sweet Apple Acres was investigated more, and what the Royal Guard found would seal the farm's fate. Stuffed victims were found within the walls of the farm, and from the autopsy what? Report, were found to only be 10 years old, which was around the time when the Apple family's killing spree had started. The 20 victims it's found within the 10 years, were 10 years span then, the basically. victims, just before the grinder was imported, and from the looks of the bodies, were tortured severely. Their cause of deaths were all the same. Unknown. Unknown. After the full oh, investigation, dear. Sweet Apple Lakers was demolished to nothing and is now a restricted area for any pony to enter. It is only a place of misery and torture, and is best It's to be my build the old, um, no 60s, pony has um, ever um, been movies. to the area since the demolition, knowing that the Apple family was still there, waiting. As for the only survivor of the Apple family massacre... Now he's gonna be like stories, like the place is haunted and all that shit. But his life is far from normal. After experiencing a horror as great as the Apple family massacre, he couldn't live a normal life, traumatized by the torture he had faced. The young Earth Pony lives in a quiet area of Ponyville Ugh. and is having regular therapy sessions, hoping to recover from the true horror he had to live through. However, it returns each time he sees the branded AF on his flanks, a small reminder of his experience in the slaughterhouse. Oh, the he's got like a, like a like logo on his, on his he finger, isn't he? Time, he was trapped. Reminds me of the callous, um, um, ribs, two bruised uh, ribs, a broken jaw, four Home Alone teeth, with a callister, severely chipped Calis teeth, a Is that a yes? Ribs, severe concussion, two fractured eye sockets, never, never seen one on his arm, oh my, no, oh, on his hand, hand, what am I doing? Severe burns in the flank area, a stomach infection, and two severed Countless surgeries were needed to make Crimson into the pony he is now. He is able to walk, eat, and talk normally, thanks to the help of some prosthetic hooves, two months of recovery from his surgeries, six months total to heal all the broken bones, Ooh. and an estimated 10 to 12 years of professional therapy. The road will be hard for Crimson, but he's slowly getting back on his hooves. He and is now married to a how much does it all cost, though? And has a son and daughter. The horrors of the Apple family massacre remain with him, but with his wife and kids to look to, he is thankful that he never gave up and lived to tell the tale. Wow. Sad contemporary man. That's the my. Written by Sparrow 9642. Edited by Sparrow 9642. 
Agent Fluffy, Applejack and Granny Smith. Sparrow, 9642 as Crimson Flash. Well, that was fucking disturbing, wasn't it, children? Wow, wow, wow. And I thought he had no chance of escaping the um, the farm. Or the... Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, I had a feeling that the place couldn't be destroyed. Or had a feeling. I did mention something about it. I can't remember where. But it... That was messed up. That... This door is fucking messed up, really. And, <sighs> yeah, with the, with the, uh, torture devices, and it's, thinking, it's only 10 years old. Um, was it 20 victims in with a 10 year, um, span? All the Applejack was kind of, like, you got quit suicide, and two, two, was it two that didn't, but ended up being arrested? And what was the crime then if you weren't if you weren't directly involved with the actual torture what was the crime then it would be assisting no chance of parole that means you could have died in prison basically we haven't seen prisons as such in my opinion not like in yes it'd be um we saw prisons like the diamond dogs but we haven't had a prison like uh we haven't seen like a proper proper prison like the cancel up prison that'd be fun to see though but it won't it might not show him you won't might not see prisons in my little pony <laughs> it'd be great if it did but i don't think they'd be, they, i don't think hasbro will go that far like showing prisons and it wouldn't mention things like murder not in not in not in a show or even death for that matter but there are some like scenes or some situations like that pony's dead, surely. Yes, it was a messed up story. Uh, and it's perfect for Halloween. And what's well, perfect, my cat here, Bass, hi Bass, was born on Halloween, weren't you? The black cat comes on, the, on, the, on a Halloween story. Hello, Bass. Born on Halloween, aren't you? Well, hope you like this reaction or more reactions I do. And I will see you next time. Oh, yes.